Hello, thank you for watching my channel. This is Sarah speaking, and this is a coloring book review for Romantic Country, The Third Tale. Um, this is about um, the island, the land of Cocot. If you don't have the other two books in this series, I recommend you guys buying them right now. Stop watching my video and go out and buy them. You can purchase them on um, Amazon.com backslash JP, which is the Japan um, Amazon site. You can buy them from there. You can also buy them off Etsy. So stop watching this video and go buy these books. These are my top favorite series. Um, they're right tied in there with uh, the Lizzie Mary Collins series that, that is out. Um, the Magical Journey in the Magical City. Um, all Things French and All Things Spanish. I love her books. I love these books. They are right up there with those to me. Um, so let me get started. First, dimensions of the book are 10 by 10 inches. Um, it does have a nice dust cover on here, which I'm going to remove after I show you the back because it gets in my way as I'm flipping through the pages. And it has a different picture on it than the dust cover has. So you can see the pictures are different. And I love these dust, I'm sorry, I love the, the book front itself because um, the picture is not only different, but it's printed on cardboard and you can use the alcohol markers on them and it is so hard to find things that you can use the alcohol markers for with coloring. Um, inside coloring books, they will run the other side of your page. Um, so they are a little bit difficult to um, try and get a hold of and, and use in your books. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still getting over my bronchitis. Um, so here's the back. Cute, cute little pictures of these little kids smashing these grapes for wine, grape juice, um, whatever. Um, absolutely fantastic book. I love the way they've put these books together. So inside here you have the title page. And I have no idea what this stuff says. Oh, before I forget, if you want the um, ISBN number... Here it is. Please pause the video here. For those of you who would like that. Um, this talks about the main characters of Romantic Country. Um, it is in Japanese. I don't know what it says. Um, but most of the pages in the book have um, subtitles, I guess. Uh, for lack of an, another word here, for what each area is. So, let me go ahead and do this flip through. The paper quality in the book is out of this world. It really is. It is a very, very nice cardstock type of paper. It is not cardstock, but it is a very thick um cardstock type of paper. It's a little bit thinner than cardstock, but it's very closely related. So as I was saying, <coughs> excuse me, um, it does have like these little subtitles on here. Um, so this is in Japanese and this would be the English, what this says. So each chapter has these little things on here. So you do kind of know what's going on in the book. You do, you do know what's, what you're looking at because of those. And I really appreciate them putting those in there. So one of the great things I really like about this book is not only the very, very cute drawings and how they were drawn, which if you don't know is with, um, ink and toothpicks, just simply amazing to me that they're able to create all this stuff with a toothpick. Um, the next best thing I think about this book is the paper quality because you're able to use so many different mediums in here um, that you're not able to use in a lot of other books, um, namely watercolor, um, any water based mediums you can use in these books. Um, my personal, um, one of my top two favorite water mediums to use other than just regular watercolor are the Derwent ink tents, um, pencils, colored pencils and, uh, the Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 water soluble pastels. 
Both work splendidly in this book. Regular watercolor also works really well in here. And because of the paper tooth and because of how smooth it is, um, you will find that regular colored pencil goes on just flawlessly in, in here. So I would recommend anything but the alcohol markers, which I stated earlier you can use on the front cardboard cover. Other than that, you can use ink pens, gel pens, fine liners, water-based markers. You can use the Neocolor 2s from Caran d'Ache. Use the ink tints colored pencils from Derwent. You can use the Prismacolor watercolor pencils. You can, um, let's see what else. You can use crayons. Um, did I say gel pens? I think I said gel pens already. Um, regular colored pencils. Highlighters. I know there's a lot of people doing um, base colors in highlighter and then going over top of that after it dries with another medium light colored pencil and those are turning out really really cool um, so for instance if you have a sun up in the sky somewhere do the base coat of that in yellow and then you can use colored pencil to go over that and kind of give it some highlights of oranges and different yellows and stuff and it turns out really pretty um, if you haven't seen that done I will be doing a tutorial for that um, here in the next couple weeks. And I've seen those done on different websites, and I, I think those are really cool. They turn out really well. I'm still working on my camera situation. I'm filming from a selfie stick and my cell phone right now. So um, I have it, like, taped to the side of a desk, and it's, like, hanging over the desk so I can get this and I'm kind of flipping through it at an angle I'm standing over this way at an angle and it's really hard on my back and my body to do this and it would definitely be impossible for me to um, color and give demonstrations of coloring um, with the setup like it is right now um, so I am working on that to be able to have a better setup so I can do more of the tutorial kind of videos I would really like to do that so in the back of the book, you have um, each chapter is broken down by picture, and it tells, um, doesn't tell in English, but it tells, I believe, in Korean and Japanese, I think that's Korean, um, what's going on in the picture. And you can use Google Translate on this. Um, I've done it a couple times on some of them, and it's worked out just fine. I know sometimes it doesn't translate very well. Um, but it seems to work really good on this. And then, um, just like the second one, the second um, Romantic Country, the second tale, um, there is an additional uh, place, I guess you could say, um, to the game that's in the back of the second one. So you have a couple different backdrops on here. And here... And that is what they give you. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like my video and um, subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment. Let, let me know what you like. And if you don't like this video, instead of giving me a thumbs down, um, tell me what you didn't like about the video so I can change that in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be kind to one another and happy coloring.